emotions back in the floor, kids. Come on, let's go. Hi, welcome to Kingdom News 24-7. We have an amazing story for you. We'll be right back after this short commercial. Have you ever been in a bad mood and you felt like you should read your Bible? And you flipped open to the right scripture, the one you needed to hear? Well, that doesn't always happen, but it can with the new Mood Bible. It detects your mood when you sit down to read it. Hey, I can't take it anymore! Customers always turning the books in late. Being a librarian is so hard. They put their books all in the wrong places. Everybody's loud. My boss says I'm loud. Maybe, oh, is that my food Bible? Oh, I guess I need some Bible time. Judge not, or you will be judged. Hmm. Lord, please forgive me. Help me to forgive others. Thank you, Mood Bible. Hi, y'all. My name's Cindy Lou. I'm going to tell you how my Mood Bible saved my life. A couple days ago, I was out riding my horse, Daisy, when a couple men approached me with guns. And they said, give me your horse and everything you got. And I said, just one minute, sir. And I pulled out my Mood Bible and I opened to this verse. So mighty one, he gives his angels charge of me, and they keep me in all my ways. And their eyes grew big, and they ran away that instant. And I was like, oh my goodness, thank you, Mood Bible. Mood Bible detects your mood and opens to the scripture you need. Get it today in this special limited time offer. Only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 888-555. Mood. Get it today. An amazing discovery happened a couple days ago. It will probably change the world forever. Stacy Jones is on site. Over to you, Stacy. Thanks, Nicole. Stacy Jones reporting here on the site. A young woman spent everything she had, even her inheritance, to buy this piece of property. And that young lady is Elizabeth Smith. Elizabeth, would you share with us? Yeah, hi, y'all. I'm on TV. Yeah, so... What happened was, I read in the article that there was a treasure map. So, I went hiking a week ago. And then, I tripped over something. And I'm like, what in the world tripped me? Because I am dirty. And so, I looked and it was a treasure box. It looked like a treasure box, but it was dug so deep down I could barely tell. But I knew in my heart it was. So, I looked around and then, whoo, I saw a for sale sign. And I'm like, ooh, I could buy it. What that treasure was. My name is Blaga Schnaga Blaga. No, it's really not. Hi! That commercial about the Moo Bible wasn't really real. There's no such thing as a Moo Bible. But guess what? There is such thing as God's Holy Spirit. That's all you need. Did you know that Jesus said his Holy Spirit would remind us of his words? A couple years ago, I prayed and asked God for an iPod Touch. One time, I felt like I was never going to get it. But then, the Holy Spirit reminded me that Jesus said, Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you receive it and you will have it. That helped me not to fear. I knew I would get my iPod. And guess what? I have an iPod now. And it wasn't even from my mom or dad. Nothing is impossible for me. Because I believe. Guess what time it is? It's joke time. Hey, Nicole. Guess what? What? Where do pencils go for vacation? Hmm, let me think. I 
talking about? Pennsylvania, of course. Oh! Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in, we're freezing out here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got another one. What else learn in school? Uh, hmm. Their math? The alphabet, of course. Oh! <laughs> um, what did the mushrooms say to the fungus? I don't know. You're a fun guy. Oh, I get it. Fun guy. Fun guy. <laughs> a man was in jail for a long time. When he got released, he ran out screaming, I'm free, I'm free. A little kid came up to him and said, so what? I'm full. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> what do you call cheese that's not yours? Tell me. Nacho cheese. Oh, I get it. Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Stacy Jones. Here on Kingdom News in the Zebra Studio. Guess what? Elizabeth Smith is unable to make it, but she sent me with her treasure box. Let's go find out what's in it. It's such a privilege that she let me be the one to show it to you. Oh, it's a very great book. How could a book be worth more than silver or gold? Let's read a little. The words in this book are alive, alive, and powerful, full of power, and sharper than any two-edged sword. The Book of Power? Get up on your feet and praise Him. Get up on your feet and praise Get up on your feet and praise Him. Cause everything is all for Him Get up on your feet and praise Him Get up on your feet and praise Get up on your feet and praise Him Cause everything is all for Him The words in this book are alive! No wonder they're more valuable than gold or silver The Bible is awesome did you know the story of Elizabeth Smith was the story that Jesus told? Jesus was explaining the kingdom of God. He said it was like someone who sold everything they had to buy a field because there was a treasure in it. And do you know what that treasure was? It was the kingdom of God. I have good news for you. You can be in that kingdom Jesus was talking about. Just think of all the things Jesus did on the earth. If you're in his kingdom, you can do the same, and even greater. That's too good to be true. That's too good to be true. That's too good to be true. Give it up to the one who saved you. Give it up to the one who gave you life. How can I be in that kingdom? All you have to do is say, Jesus, I believe you died to pay the price so that I can live in your kingdom. Please forgive me for everything I've done wrong and send your spirit to live in me so I can be in your kingdom. After that, be ready to let God's spirit move in you and make you a different person. The kingdom! Get up on your feet and praise Him Cause everything is all for Him Get up on your feet and praise Him Get up on your feet and praise Get up on your feet and praise Him Cause everything is all for Him Give it up to the one who When I was younger, I became a part of God's kingdom once, I fell on top of a sink, and my tooth pierced through the bottom of my chin. What? Your tooth went through your chin? 
Well, it was in my skin and there was a hole in it. Oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. My parents were a part of God's kingdom too, and they asked the king, God, if I if that he could heal me. Guess what? The same day God healed me. It was a miracle. Devotions. Bye kids and four kids.